So the most common form of contaminant within an SF6 breaker is water. So if you have water inside the breaker or moisture, how do you get it out? Well, the most common way of doing this is to pull vacuum or perform a vacuum dry out on the system. So in order to understand how this works, we've got to kick it back to ninth grade physics class and talk about the relationship between the boiling point of water and pressure. So here in Houston, the boiling point of water is around 212 degrees Fahrenheit because we're about at sea level. If you were to go to say Denver, Colorado, that boiling point temperature drops to about 202 degrees Fahrenheit. If you go even more extreme, you go to Mount Everest, the top of Mount Everest, uh, the boiling point temperature is gonna be about 156 degrees Fahrenheit. So as you approach a lower and lower pressure, um, the boiling point temperature only gets colder and colder. So we've got some water here at room temperature that's sitting in a vacuum chamber. And as the vacuum pressure starts to drop, the water actually starts to boil. So the trick with all this is to not pull vacuum on the system too quickly because you'll actually end up freezing the water inside the breaker, which is not what you want. You want to pull your vacuum slowly to get it underneath one torf pressure and then keep it there for about an hour. That way all of the water has a chance to boil off and be pumped out of the system.